My name is uh, Dione Sender. I work in the Institute for Environmental Research at Anstor and I'm a hydrogeochemist. Yeah, I've been recently in Mozambique and uh, the main purposes of the trip were to organize a workshop in which we could get um, hydrogeochemists and uh, groundwater uh, researchers from Africa to come to that place in Mozambique to learn about some of the work we are doing in our network. It's an international network that we have. Um, Mozambique um, basically uh, got independent from, from Portugal, the former uh, you know, colonial power in 1975. And after that, they just basically went into an awful civil war till 1992. It's, it's nowadays, it's an emerging economy in Africa. It's one of the uh, countries with one of the best uh, sort of economic outlooks at the, at the moment. Uh, the, the students are mostly uh, in geoscience and uh, they are trying to scope their future and they understand that groundwater is one of the main issues uh, facing uh, Mozambique at the moment. Okay, groundwater uh, in many African nations is the only chance they have to access water. Okay, apart from the seasonal surface water they may have from rivers, etc., which is more susceptible to be contaminated. Okay. Uh, just to give you an example, uh, the water company that provides water in the city of Maputo is only able to provide water to about 60% of the population. Uh, the rest of the population has to get water uh, from mostly private well owners. So they just go to someone that probably has constructed a well and they pay a certain amount of money just to get the water they need just for the daily needs. Now the role of Ansto in this is not to find the water, it's to try to understand if the water resources that are available are sustainable. What do I mean by sustainable? Is that how much groundwater can we take without mining the groundwater? Okay, so that's the role, and in order to do that, uh, we use different isotopic techniques uh, that are accessible here at Hansel. One of them is, for example, tritium or carbon-14, and at looking at uh, the decay of those isotopes, we can find out some things about how long the water has taken from rainfall to the time when you get it out from the well. Um, this project has been uh, started from from my own work at Ansto, but the funding uh, sources are several. Me personally, it's, it's, uh, apart from meeting with uh, extraordinary people that are in Mozambique, amazing people that works with really limited resources, it was a really enriching experience. And, uh, um, it was amazing to see um, you know, how different is life of people in, in rural areas in, you know, in the south of Africa. Uh, from a professional point of view, it was a uh, fantastic being able to use some of Anstos uh, uh, tools uh, and you know help uh, to understand better groundwater resources in the south of, of Mozambique.